We continue with the fallout from yesterday's shocking announcement about the closing of the Rosa Copeland Nursing Home on the Weinberg campus. The decision by the facility's owner and board of directors could leave hundreds of residents and workers in limbo, wondering what comes next. Our Trina Catterson hears from families tonight. Trina. Dave, employees say they are still putting up a fight to keep the doors at the Rosa Copeland Center open. After days of issues with paychecks and health insurance, union members are frustrated but are continuing to beg the State Department of Health to step in. It's very frustrating right now. I want my mom and dad to be taken care of as long as they're there. Family members are outraged by everything that has unfolded at the Weinberg campus the last few days. We spoke with a woman who did not want to be on camera. Both of her parents are residents of the Rosa Copeland Living Center. This is like a nightmare for me. Last Friday I went in, my mom was crying, please don't separate us, please don't separate us. The woman told us she attended several informational meetings that were held by Weinberg campus staff. Representatives from other facilities were also in attendance, evaluating patients to determine if they'd be a good fit. Both of her parents are suffering from memory loss, and she's worried about moving them out of the place they're used to. Every time you change their environment, they lose a little bit more. I'm worried that I'm going to say goodbye to my mom, basically, this time. The closure announcement Thursday shocked family members and employees. 1199 SEIU union members were also surprised to learn the president and CEO of Weinberg, Robert Mayer, submitted an application to close the facility back in August, something they say they were never made aware of. The vice president of the union says it's been a common theme of not knowing things until they are brought to light by union members. Most recently, health insurance coverage was canceled for work. Workers. That was shocking. Um, we're working right now to try and find options for our members um, who need these, these services, who need health insurance and health coverage, whether it's for themselves or for their family. Union members are still holding on to hope. The State Department of Health reconsiders its plan to close the Living Center and instead transfer ownership to keep Rosa Copeland open. Amherst Town Supervisor Brian Culpa believes that is the best option. They're not just residents of Weinberg, they're actually residents within the town. And so, of course, that we're upset about the idea of displacement. In a statement Thursday, the DOH said it will, quote, ensure that the facility is operational until all residents have been safely placed elsewhere. But the department has not indicated it will take any action when it comes to receivership. The ball is in the DOH's court. I mean, if the Department of Health is not willing to provide the funding and to approve this transfer of ownership, then they are the ones making the decision to close this campus. Now, we're expecting to hear from elected officials on why they believe the facility should stay open. That will be on Monday. Caregivers alongside resident families and community leaders plan to hold a mass protest on Tuesday. Reporting in the studio, Trina Catterson, News 4.